So literally everyone who has a gaming news channel is discussing Nintendo Labo, and I'm pretty much the only one who hasn't at this point. But even so, I still do want to share my thoughts on this because this is a pretty interesting topic. Keywords. My. Thoughts. So if you somehow don't know already, Nintendo just recently unveiled Nintendo Labo. What is it? Well, to be honest, it's just a cardboard kit with a Nintendo logo on it. So, Nintendo Labo lets you build your own little cardboard creations which you can use on the Nintendo Switch to create some, uh, interesting things. I'm not going to show the trailer in this video because I have no idea what's going on with the Nintendo content policy. But if you want to learn other stuff like the specs these kits have, or what am I even saying, the specs this Nintendo Labo thing is cardboard, but if you want to check all that out, I will have a link to that in the description. But I will talk about the price of Nintendo Labo, because that seems to be everyone's biggest gripe with Labo. But before I do that, I need to get something out of the way. I do not hate this idea, I think it's creative and interesting, and it has potential. But Nintendo has made a lot of, um, questionable decisions with Nintendo Labo, and it made me think that I should make this video. Now, the prices of kits will vary, but on average, you should expect to pay around $70 per kit. That's more than most AAA Switch games that are out. That's almost a third of the Switch's price. And you're getting cardboard. Now, you could say, well, maybe it will be worth the 70 bucks, and... Okay, maybe Nintendo will work with the 0.1 chance they have that Nintendo Labo will be at a good value for $70. So, what is my take on Nintendo Labo? Well, I think that it's something only Nintendo would try. And I applaud them for trying something different, but... Nintendo, you have priced these kits way higher than they need to be. To be honest, including the price of the cardboard, the box, and everything that Nintendo Labo will come with, that's pretty much costing Nintendo only around $15 to make. And it's being priced for $70. Also, Nintendo, why are you using cardboard? To be honest, if Nintendo would use some different type of material for Labo that's way more durable, I wouldn't be as irritated as I am now. But cardboard breaks easily. It's used so much that it doesn't make sense to buy Nintendo Labo, which I'll get into in a minute, and people are going to instantly just write it off as a too expensive piece of cardboard. Now, this is the part that I think Nintendo should have thought more about. Nintendo Labo uses what looks like cardboard and strings. Maybe there's some other parts to it that Nintendo needs to feature more, but my point is, is that you could go to your local dollar store and just buy $15 worth of parts, take it home, watch a DIY YouTube tutorial on how to make your own Nintendo Labo, and you just got yourself a Nintendo Labo kit for less than a quarter of the average price. Now you could also say, well it's made for kids so it's not made for you, and clearly, yes, it isn't made for people in their 20s and 30s. But what do you notice in my voice? I'm pretty close to the demographic Nintendo Label is being marketed for, and I have mixed opinions on it. Sure, it's just my opinion, but I have a feeling, based on other people who are around my age's response to Nintendo Labo, that my opinion is pretty popular among Nintendo Labo's age group. Maybe I'm wrong and everyone will just love Labo, but I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. But most importantly, as you can see in this video's title, I want to know why you are interested in Nintendo Labo. Why do you like it? Maybe you don't like it too, and regardless of whether you do like it or not, I'd appreciate it if you left your thoughts on this in the comments. But I'd also appreciate it if you didn't try and throw a flame war in the comments. Nintendo, I love it when you innovate, but sometimes innovation isn't always the answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you.